Hello smart civil engineers, I am Engineer Masroor and you are watching Engineering Network YouTube channel. I am back with another important topic. So in today's video, I will teach you rise and fall method in leveling. So my dear friends, in this video, I will show you that how to use rise and fall method in leveling of road. And also I will solve a practical problem using rise and fall method. Now rise and fall method is commonly used by the surveyors in road construction. So today video is very important and please watch it completely so that you can learn the whole process of rise and fall method. Now before I start this video I have a request from you guys. If you find this video informative then please click on the like button. Share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel then please click on the subscribe button and also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. So let's start. Okay, as I told you that today our topic is rise and fall method in leveling. Now first let us understand what is rise and fall method. Now in rise and fall method actually we try to find out that in which direction the road is going. Which means that we try to find out that is the road going upward in slope or downward in slope. Okay? Now here rise shows that the road direction is upward and fall shows that the road direction will be downward. Okay? Now let me show you the whole process of rise and fall method in leveling by solving a practical example. So the problem states that the following consecutive readings were taken with a dumpy level and readings are 0 0.8.94, 1.643, 2.896, 3.016, 3.0165, 0.954, 0.692, 0.518, 0.352, 0.9926, and 2.135. The instrument was shifted after the fourth and eighth readings. The first reading was taken on the staff rod held on the benchmark of reduced level 820.765. Rule out a page of level field book and enter the above readings. Calculate the reduced level of the points and show the usual checks. Also calculate the rise and fall at each point and also find out what is the difference of reduced level between the first and last point. So this is the statement of the problem. And now let me draw a table here. So the first column is station, then readings and in readings column there are sub columns as well. First is the back side, then enter side then foresight, then rise and then fall. Next is the reduced level column and last is the remarks column. Okay? And also you can say that this is the level field book and if you want to work as a surveyor on a road project then you have to fill this table on site. Okay? Now in station column I will write these numbers up to 9. Now remember here that the first reading will always be considered as the back side and last reading will be considered as the foresight. Okay? And also first reading will be taken on the benchmark. Okay? So here the back side at point 1 is 0.894 and the foresight at point 9 is 2.135. And in remarks I will write here benchmark or BN. Now the reading at point 2 will be the enter side which is 1.643 and at point 3 it is 2.896. At point 4 it is given in the problem that the instrument is shifted at 4th reading. Okay? So reading at point 4 will be considered as the 4th side which is 3.016 and the next reading which is the 5th reading will be the back side at point 4 which is 0 0.954. Okay? Because it is given in the statement that the instrument is shifted at 4th reading. 
right? So here in remarks column, I will write change point or CP. Then again at point 5 and 6, the reading will be the enter side, which is 0 0.692 and 0 0.582. Now at 8th reading, the instrument is again shifted, okay? So the 8th reading will be considered as the 4th side, which is 0 0.251. And the next reading will be the big side, which is 1.532, right? Because it is given in the statement that the instrument is shifted at 8th reading. So here in remarks column, I will write change point, RCP. And the remaining reading will be the enter side, which is 0 0.996, right? So this is the data that is given to us in the problem. And from onward, I will show you that how to calculate the rise and fall and also how to find out the reduced level at each point of a road cross section using rise and fall method in leveling. Okay? Now at point 1, there will be no rise or fall. Okay? At point 2, the rise or fall, whatever the value is, we have to calculate it. Right? So it is equal to Back side minus inter side, which is equal to 0 0.894, which is the back side at point 1, minus 1 1.643, which is the inter side at point 2, and it will become minus 0 0.749. Okay? Now here this minus sign shows that the road cross section is in fall, so I will write it in the fall column. And here I don't need to put the minus sign because the fall itself indicates that whatever the value is, it will be in the minus. Okay? So the fall at point 2 is 0 0.749. At point 3, it is equal to intersite minus intersite, which is equal to 1.643 minus 2.896. And it will become minus 1.253, which is again in minus. Okay? At point 4, it is equal to inter side minus 4 side, which is equal to 2.896 minus 3.016, which is equal to minus 0 0.120. And again, it is far. At point 5, it is equal to back side minus inter side, which is equal to 0 0.954 minus 0 0.692, and it will become 0 0.262. Now here in this 0 0.262, the sign is plus, so it means that at point 5, the road cross section is in rise, so I will write it in the rise column. At point 6, it is equal to intersite minus intersite, which is equal to 0 0.692 minus 0 0.582, and it will become 0 0.110. At point 7, it is equal to intersite minus foresight, which is equal to 0 0.582 minus 0 0.251, and it will become 0 0.331. At point 8, it is equal to back side minus foresight, which is equal to 1.532 minus 0 0.996, and it will become 0 0.536. And at point 9, it is equal to inter side minus foresight, which is equal to 0 0.996 minus 2.135. And it will become minus 1.139. And here the minus sign again shows that at point 9, the road cross section is in far. Okay? Now I have find out the rise and fall value at each staff reading. Next is the reduced level at each staff reading. Okay? So at point 1, which is actually the benchmark for the instrument. The reduced level is 820.765, which is already given to us in the problem. So at point 2, 
the reduced level is equal to reduced level at point 1 plus reduced level of fall or rise at point 2. And here at point 2, it is actually fall. Okay? So reduced level is equal to 820.765 plus into minus 0 0.749. And the reduced level at point 2 will become 820.016. At point 3, the reduced level is equal to reduced level at point 2 plus reading of rise or fall at point 3. Okay? So reduced level at point 3 is equal to 820.016 plus into minus 1.253. And it will become 818.763. At point 4, the reduced level is equal to 818.763 plus into minus 0 0.120. And it will become 818.643. At point 5, the reduced level is equal to 818.643 plus 0 0.262 and it will become 818.905. At point 6, the reduced level is equal to 818.905 plus 0 0.110 and the reduced level at point 6 will become 819.015. At point 7, the reduced level is equal to 819.015 plus 0 0.331 and the reduced level at point 7 will become 819.346. At point 8, the reduced level is equal to 819.346 plus 0 0.536. And the reduced level at point 7 will become 819.882. At point 9, the reduced level is equal to 819.882 plus into minus 1.139. And it will become 818.743. Okay? So these are the reduced level at each staff reading. Now in the problem, we have been asked that also verify your result with checks. Now in rise and fall method in leveling, basically we have a check which is also called arithmetic check in order to verify our result. Okay? So the arithmetic check is equal to sum of back side minus sum of four side must be equal to sum of rise minus sum of fall must be equal to reduced level at last point minus reduced level at first point. Okay? So if all these three results are same, then our calculation will be considered as correct. Okay? So the sum of big side is equal to 3.380 and the sum of four side is equal to 5.402. Sum of rise is equal to 1.239. Sum of fall is equal to 3.261. And the reduced level at last point is 818.743. And reduced level at first point is equal to 820.765. Right? Now after calculation, the sum of big side minus sum of four side is equal to minus 2.022. The sum of rise minus sum of fall is equal to minus 2.022. And reduced level at last point minus reduced level at first point is also equal to minus 2.022. Okay? Which means that according to the arithmetic check, our calculation is correct. And here this minus sign in 2.022 shows that 
the slope or gradient of the road cross section is in the downward direction which is far okay so this is all about the rise and fall method in leveling i hope you would like this video and if you have any question then please ask me in the comment section i will answer your questions now if you find this video informative then please like this video share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel then please click on the subscribe button and also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos see you in the next video